The Cadre Bunch of the Nigerian Bar Association, NBA, has held the 16th edition of the Gani Fawemi Annual Lecture and Symposium in Lagos. The topic for this year's lecture is Federalism and the Judiciary in Nigeria. The event was moderated by human rights lawyer Femi Falano S.A.N., who invited legal luminaries to discuss the way forward for Nigeria's judicial arm of government. Nigeria's legal community is gathered at the lecture hall at Airport Hotel Ikeja for the 16th edition of the Chief Gani Fawaimi Annual Lecture and Symposium. This year's event is tagged Federalism and the Judiciary in Nigeria. It's featured an intellectual discourse by legal practitioner Tayo Oyetibo S.A.N., who argued that the judiciary is under siege in Nigeria. Oyetibo stated that the executive have become notorious for flouting the rule of law and separation of powers by interfering with court cases and disobeying court orders. I submit that when the law has been pronounced upon by the court, it is the unqualified obligation of the parties concerned, be they citizens or government or governmental agency, to obey the decision or order of such court in due observance of the rule of law. Any deviation from this norm, particularly by the executive, will, in our view, constitute an opposition to such decision or order, and accordingly an attack on the judiciary. The judiciary can also be said to be experiencing an attack when it is being subjected to intimidation by the executive. This could be by physical intimidation or harassment. Judges who exercise judicial powers to determine disputes between the government and individuals ought not to be subjected to reprisals for handing down decisions which are unfavorable to the executive. Speaking on behalf of the Chief Judge of Lagos, Justice Kazima Logba, Adedayo Adebanji called on lawyers and judges to emulate the life of Fawahimi by advocating for the good of the masses and upholding their integrity. A refusal of lawyers to be used as conduits in a bid to make judgments purchasable is also of paramount importance. Because indeed, I do not believe that any litigant would have the audacity to walk up to a judge to offer a bribe. They will usually go through you know who. So we believe that that should stop. With financial autonomy, independence, and lack of political by the Nigerian Bar Association, the Gani Fawaimi Lecture represents a celebration of the famed integrity and incorruptibility of the late Gani Fawaimi. We know what Gani stood for. We know what he left as a legacy. In terms of development of public interest litigation, he was, he was the people's lawyer. He fought for enforcement of fundamental human rights. He fought for rights of the citizens. So he did so well. So we needed to immortalize him by leaving a legacy, by holding this legacy. What for the masses? Ghani was not asking for any money to do something that is right. Rather, Ghani was spending his money for the poor, for the less privileged. Everyone must possess Ghani spirit. That is the takeaway. If every person in this country possesses Ghani spirit, the spirit of courage, the spirit of doing what is right, the spirit of justice, and the spirit of being in the interest of the people, then this country will be a better country. At a time when judicial scandals have become commonplace, this symposium proves relevant to recalibrate the direction of the Nigerian judiciary to the trail of incorruptibility blazed by Ghani Fawaimi. Anetta Felix, TV360, Nigeria.